We see cattle grazing in Oyo State Sunday Guho's hometown. About 20 days after his Ibado home was raided by operative of the Department of State Service DSS, Sunday Adeyemo was arrested in Kotonu, Ben Republic, as he was about traveling to Germany along with his wife. The Kaduna State based controversial Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmad Gumi has visited Igbo's hometown in Oyo State, the home town of Yoruba Nation activist Sondi Adeyemo, more commonly known as Sondi Ibuho. About 20 days after his Ibado home was raided by operative of the Department of State Service, DSS, Adeyemo was arrested in Cotonou, Benin Republic, as he was about traveling to Germany along with his wife, Bero. Ibuho, who called for Yoruba Nation, is being accused of a separatist tendency and he had been under the searchlight of security operatives. Gumi was seen in Ibuho town alongside with former chief executive officer of the National Health Insurance Camp, NHIS, Professor Yusuf Usman. In a video obtained by Sarah reporters, Gumi and Yusuf were seen standing in the front of a Muslim grammar school signboard in Modakeke, Igboho. Gumi noted that he has seen nothing to warrant people to agitate that they should be separated from Nigeria. Today we have visited this town, Igboho. It's a Muslim community and we can see some cattle grazing in their cult yards. This is a place I think Nigerians need to understand that we need to live together. Because I have seen nothing here to warrant people to agitate that they should be separated from our beloved country, Nigeria, the cleric added. Yusuf added that it was the allies that were dividing Nigeria and not the common people noting that the common people are the same this is igboho made famous by the detainee in Benin republic nigeria is one we stand always remain one the towns we have been to which includes elisha you see churches you see mugs you see fulanis you see yorubas all coming together this is nigeria we grew up in not poison nigeria it is the allies that are dividing nigeria not the common people the common people are the same. We are here as Nigerians and we will continue to be one. Hmm. You said the highlights, you mean? So who are the highlights Gomi is talking about? Because I don't really think this man understands what he's saying. Who are the allies? Is it the the common the allies are like the Patami, the Malami, the Gabashew, Femi Adeshino, are they the allies he's talking about? Because I seriously do not understand who are the allies that are trying to divide the country and who are the commoners. Because Ibuho is a commoner according to him. That means Ibuho is not the one who is trying to divide the country. And Namdukano is not the one either. Because Namdukano is also a commoner. So the allies are the presidencies and you included. You are saying we are one Nigeria and yet you are advocating for foreigners which are the Fulanese because according to what the president said then we haven't forgotten his statement. He said that all these Fulanese that are perpetrating evil known as bandits or the herders that are killing people they are what? They are foreigners that was what he said so since you said we are one nigeria then how come you are advocating for foreigners that is the question we should be asking you i think you are a confused man you don't know what you're doing and what took you to or your state are you now a president or are you the president of nigeria that you feel that it is right for you to walk about freely going about one state to the other checking up how things are in different states as if you are the governor i don't really understand what this man is doing <laughs> well let's hit the comment section and hear what people have to say about this the first thing the cleric saw and talked about is cow hmm imagine a responsible man traveling all the way from kaduna to see cows wow he sees nothing but the cow that is causing controversies here are there when appointed him to be doing this waka waka journey around nigeria 
unscrupulous man okay same churches and mosques are living in peace here but frustrating churches in the north and here you are talking like peacemaker but inside you terrorist blood flowing hmm. is or you your father's property or are your or are your people's cattle rarer the north has three times the land masses in the south yet you are not contented with god has given you hmm. you convert our land you shall never be contented in life okay but our royal fathers are not against it instead of defending their ter territory and the subjects they prefer to fight over who is superior and dance away their sorrow with the collected as a result of their collaboration hmm. okay they are hypocrites never said anything concerning the dehumanization of the indigenous settlers the indigents have the right to say no to any unwanted oppressions irrespective of their affiliated relationship as nigerians hmm. the indigenous people of igboho are not complaining even their kings and who said so it is the northern muslim and fulani that are making southerners to agitate for separation gumi and the prof uh, Islamic by God supporting bandits, they are surveying the south. My people be well. Hmm. Now, this is what this guy is now inciting the people. Hmm. This is wrong. Go, hmm. no, you might see cows are uh, grazing in Igbo Township. The fact is that the inhabitants of that community do not want to be cut short of their lives by the Fulanis, just done to the lost ones in the past. Sheikh Gumi himself cannot deny having the knowledge of the atrocities of the Fulanis at Ibarakba. Before we can talk of no need to go separate ways, let the killers, rapists and the abductors be made to face the wrath of the law. Hmm. Says who? And which are you talking about? Have you forgotten where you are? This is Ninja, Nigeria that we are presently belongs to the Fulanese because they own Nigeria as it stands right now. His visit envisage another hidden agenda. Don't fall for his gimmicks. Infants, who, who sent him? Why was he there? Who, on whose cause and for what purpose? Representatives of terrorists, go back to where you come from. We don't need your lecture. Hmm. This man really needs to be cool. His, his journey to Igbo's land is indeed a questionable one. What is he looking for and why was he there? Or is he there to go and supervise the place or survey the place and see how things are so that he will go back and report to his masters and tell them that there is a free space for them to go and perpetrate evil again over there since Igboho is being arrested, right? Or what is he doing there? What is his mission to that very local government of Oyo? That is the question we're supposed to be asking this terrorist advocate. Well, you can hit the comment section and share your take on this article. Thanks for listening.